Nigeria's economic well-being is solely dependent on oil and this, for over decades, has been keeping the nation going. Recently, this economic state has been threatened severely, leading to Nigeria not being able to meet her oil production quota. The reason for this has been the terrible illegal oil bunkery and theft going on in the oil producing areas. Worried by this, the federal government of Nigeria directed the Nigerian army to help put a stop to illegal bunkery, theft and illegal refineries. Illegal oil bunkery and illegal oil refineries not only causes economic losses to Nigeria, but also causes serious damages to the environment, as can be seen when Security Watch Africa crew visited some locations in rivers and Bayosu states used for illegal refineries activities. So what they do is that they put it in this sack and then they walk. Transport. Yes, and then go and load it in vehicles or, you know, other forms of transport. That's the first point from the illegal connection. Mm. From the illegal connection to that tank that you're seeing, some of them have capacity of about 3,000 liters. Then from there, they will lay pipelines, pipes. You can see one pipe there, like antenna. That is the process of the cooking. From there, it goes into the open surface tank there. I have a bucket full of crude oil. Can you believe that? This is the crude oil the, the, that produces 90% of Nigerian resources being wasted. At the headquarters of Nigerian Army Seas Division in Port Harcourt, the General Officer Commanding and Land Component Commander of Operation Delta Safe, Major General Olufemi Oloyede, speaks on their mandate and operations so far. Well, I must tell you that um, it's, a, it's a very complex situation and um, based on the seriousness, it has attracted you know, a lot of attention from the federal government out to the defense headquarters down to the service headquarters, that's, which includes the army headquarters. You know, it's a big fight and uh, we've taken up the guns and uh, with the support of the chief of defense staff and uh, the chief of army staff, we have, we, we've done a lot. In the last three months, you know, several operations have been conducted. We've uh, seized over 200 tankers and boats that were used for illegal bunkering. And these have uh, been handled, you know. Normally, we, we, we forward same to the EFCC, you know, for prosecution. And that's still ongoing. Then, as I speak with you now, we have special operations being conducted in the general area of Iba and Rumikwe, which are very notorious for illegal bunkering operations within river states. Same is going on at Owaza. Owaza is a border town or border community between rivers and um, yeah. Abia state. Same is also being conducted within Delta state, I mean state, around um, Wadi South. As I speak, operations are ongoing in those areas. What is slowing down the operations is the fact that uh, you know, we're combining operations with some mechanical aspect of uh, destroying the tools they are using. Uh, you, you saw how cumbersome those things are, you know. But I, I, I can tell you that we're on top of our game. And um, with what we've been doing, I think there's, a, you know, some kind, kind of significant improvement in that direction. On the dangers posed by the activities of illegal refineries on the public, the acting commander sees the Vision Medical Services and Hospital, Colonel David Ebe and Dr. Moko Manataniel, gave insight. A suit in the air can occur from any uh, angles. Number one, it can be from a legal bunker, uh, from you know, hazardous industrial activities that uh, meet suit, and from illegal uh, bush burning, and then uh, from black suits from uh, rickety vehicles that are not serviced. So all these are some of, are some of the ways you can get soot into the air. And the, the hazards of soot generally is mainly on the respiratory system, that means the lung. And the hazards become very, very uh, bad 
when the duration of exposure of soot is long, just as it is in Port Harcourt. Uh, the hazards can be categorized as immediate and long term. The immediate one is thing, what we call uh, lung infections like pneumonia and pneumoconiosis. How does this arise? The lungs have what we call alveoli, which is the space in which there is exchange of air between the environment and the human. When the suit is inhaled through the lungs, they, they line the alveolar space, making it difficult for the proper exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide that one emits. And what is the immediate complication of this? Difficulty in breathing. That's the immediate cause. Chest pain. And once there is poor exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide, there will be more oxygen in the system. So more carbon dioxide in the system as against the oxygen. And then it causes some health issues. Pneumonia, pneumoconiosis as immediate short-term uh, hazards. But the long-term hazard is well, when somebody is now exposed for it for a very long term, those diseases that wouldn't have uh, manifested or down, down normal sequences will start applying. You can even have as much as a cancer of the lungs in the long term because you've been exposed to this suit that have been hampering the proper exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the system. The black suits, um, particularly in River State or within the Niger Delta region, um, is a thing of concern in recent time. Um, basically, it is as a result of uh, incomplete combustion of carbon containing compounds vis-a-vis -vis in this area it's as a result of um, illegal uh, refining products and the likes of them. Uh, in other words, it's from illegal refineries that we have within the Niger Delta region or in Port Harcourt region, so to say. And um, um, the effect um, is so enormous because when these uh, compounds are being released into the air, some of them mix with even the water and then fall back with um, as rain and in other words there will be problem with um, the effects can be from water and from our drinking water being polluted and also from the air we breathe in even from the livestock within we go where fishermen in river states or in the Niger Delta region so even the waters the river Rhine areas the water from our rivers and all that are being polluted and so even the fishes and the livestock they are also being affected now the effects to human say to say from the water we drink, it can affect our um, effect on the um, gastrointestinal system. And then also um, the, from the air we breathe, the polluted air. On the lungs, it um, can cause um, various degree of uh, respiratory um, problems. It can even as exacerbate asthmatic attack. Over time, it can even lead to um, cancer of the lungs and then what have you, and the likes of them. And then um, again, um, uh, like I said, it can also uh, from the water, from our fish, from the fish we, uh, in, our, in, in our environment, when the fish are being uh, polluted, um, it can also affect um, um, the general body system. In fulfilling its mandate of protecting Nigerian's territorial integrity and aid civil authorities, the Nigerian Army has given directives and provided platforms for its personnel to effectively discharge its responsibilities in protecting national oil assets and infrastructures through various land company sectors of Operation Delta Safe. Shirley Daniels, reporting for Security Watch Africa.